Hello everyone. Welcome to our new series of digital forensics. In this series, we will be talking about the tips and techniques of decoding malicious encoded JavaScripts. If you are in DFIR, you might be getting a lot of like this either from your email, from the system logs, any other site links, etc. And understanding the low hanging fruit is very important to prepare a plan out of it. We will be discussing about 8 collected samples and doing a demo to show you how you can decode them with very minimal and less effort. We will take one hour time to explain and go through all of the samples, so please watch the full demo. Before starting, we request you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our interesting DFIR real life topics. And if you like the content, please give us a thumbs up. Any queries can go to the comment section. Before we start our practical session and we show how you actually can decode the malicious script. So here is the little bit of theory of that. So specifically the goals that we are going to cover in this course. So our um, this particular course is limited to the obfuscation of any JavaScript. We are not going to cover anything from like PowerShell, um, any VB, anything like that. So we can do that later part of time in later series because this is limited to JavaScript. Next thing, we will try to understand from our sample scripts that what is the motive behind writing that script, what the attacker might have been trying to do. And uh, trust us, we won't take much of time for the obfuscation of any kind of code, it's obvious that we won't understand uh, what actually the full code is doing. Uh, but our main focus to carve out any of the IOCs that we can find from that malicious code and that use will be specifically useful if we are working on incident response and you need to prepare for a plan to do for similar kind of work, right? Okay. So uh, first thing first, how attacker make code unreadable, we need to understand and how we can unwrap that. So that is our main goal of that area. So if we go and deep dive, there are some principles by which uh, attacker do that kind of wrapping around their code. First is minification. So when we say minification, that means there are uh, different kind of uh, mixture of the wrapping. So to remove that option, either there could be any like white space character, there could be anything like duplicate variable in the sense maybe there is A equal to B, B equal to C and C equal to D and attacker is using that D option rather than A option. So there could be duplicate variables. So we need to remove that, we need to get rid of them. Remove garbage, so there could be huge amount of uh, unrealistic things uh, the javascript might look shattered there is no format there is nothing like uh, there could be uh, starting brace and uh, ending brace starting somewhere else ending somewhere else there is no uh, absolute identification of that so we will try to remove those garbage and we will try to beautify the script the way we will understand it in better position um, next is visual noise. So when we say that uh, anything like that visual noise, so that is like attacker will try to incorporate different kind of noisy characters inside the code for us to make that script look absolutely uh, garbage. So there could be anything like a uh, particular section of the code. It's like a dead code. So that particular section might be not might not be doing anything so that is not absolute related to our code uh, the motive of that writing that code or injecting that code so we can ignore that long names there could be like huge number of names uh, there if someone if i write a code or we write a code i could write variable a equal to something like blah 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 but attacker can write something like a long big uh, fancy name for us to uh, hover and okay what is that fishy thing so we will ignore them 
string splitting so it is a very important thing so if i want to uh, inject one url in that code that might have been like https www.google.com and using that splitting format they can use www in one variable then google in one variable and then com in one variable and at the end of the code they will simply merge all those variables so they can do that splitting so we will um, unsplit them uh, we will remove the comments and care substitution so character substitution is the same thing so if you are using a equal to b b equal to c and c equal to d at the end of your script you might be using the d but we need the a so that is like character substitution so we will try to remove them as well next thing is encoding so this is a very very important term so there are like a huge number of techniques encoding might be using the attacker so um, we will try to normalize them as much as we understand them the format so format could be anything right so it could be a hex format um, it could be a unicode format uh, it could be anything specifically so uh, we may not understand that what is actually happening inside that code if you if the code is totally encoded so our goal um, has to be remove that encryption so from start to hex then you you can see the backslash hex could be like uh, ampersand hex then backslash unicode percent unicode and finally the octal as well so those kind of encoding uh, generally attacker uses right so we will uh, try to remove them now uh, we will be using simple set of tools uh, specifically to start with remnex so remnex is a, a freeware operating system you generally used for malware forensics or malware analysis so you can download that uh, i will give you the link in the description uh, section down below um, and I'll show you in the demo section as well for how uh, where you can download the Remnex. You can include or you can install in your Remnex in any of our Linux distro as well. Like if you are using uh, a Swift to Workstation, so you can install Remnex inside that as well. It's a free tool and free for use. Next thing, um, so it's very useful. Didier Steven Suit. So uh, he has been working on malware forensics for long term and he has developed some cool features and cool tools so we can directly dump those tools from his own website again i will provide the link to download this ddo steven suit in the description section you can download it from directly there so specifically in our uh, this particular series we will be using oledum so that you know so ole is kind of uh, uh, abbreviation of uh, Microsoft Office files, right? So we will be using that Python script developed by again Didier Steven for analyze uh, Microsoft Office file. We will be using um, PDF8.py and PDF4Cert.py if required for analyzing any kind of PDF files. Base64 dump.py. So if we see any of our script is having Base64 encryption, we will be using this particular python script to unencrypt that um, and finally js file so js file js ascii also you can say it's a modified spider monkey version so that is specifically used to run javascript outside of your browser so if you are having a native javascript and if you are using that uh, and you want to run it without your browser information, you need to use that JS file and JS ASCII. So both are same and both are the specifically the modified version of SpiderMonkey. So uh, we will be using that heavily um, for running that code and to just get uh, what is the output. So it will give us the output either like uh, write.log, eval.log in that format. Um, so we'll be using that next we have some uh, in-house tools that is developed by our team so um, we will be using append string so that is a small functionality which we'll uh, use to uh, merge the split characters um, so it's coming up uh, shortly so we will uh, give the demo of that Next, decode XML. So, if we have received a, a suspicious script in XML format and it's heavily decoded, so we will use that decode XML. 
extract cat.py so if we are seeing any kind of uh, encrypted script that is character encrypted so and we were to simply extract the character from that particular script we will be using extract cat.python next is extract url same thing what extract character is doing it will just extract url from that particular bloody script next uh, substitute.py so substitute.py again uh, as i uh, mentioned earlier a dot a equal to b b equal to c and uh, d equal like something like that so we will be using a simple python script to substitute those characters and to get rid of those abbreviation and give us the final output format so again if you are uh, if you want to have those script you can simply uh, let us know in the comment section below we'll be happy to dump them in our uh, in our uh, onedrive or we can uh, host a, a box account as well or we can email you as well let us know in the comment section below you can use those uh, script right away or you can work on it on to make it better and you can share those script with the cybersec community for them use as well right so uh, sharing is caring in our field right and next uh, js beautify this is an open source tool and if you are using remnex so js beautify will be built in remnex so it will beautify your script um, the javascript code it will uh, properly identify your script and it will do a beautification on that and finally we will be heavily dependent on linux inbuilt commands so we'll be using set grep hawk cut find and lot of more other tools for um, our general criteria so uh, that's all from theory part we will not bore you again and let's jump into the demo and practical okay so we are logged in in our Ramnex console so this uh, particular virtual machine we are going to use before doing that uh, just let me show you if we do google of uh, Ramnex sorry about uh, okay so if you directly go there and you can download that uh, distro for your uh, directly you can download the remnex vm if you uh, want to install it in your uh, sept workstation that we told earlier you can go to the instructions here uh, container management is also here which is cool for using and hosting it in cloud so whatever specification you need you can download it directly from um, here in this website um, next thing uh, as we will be using ddr steven suit so okay so this is uh, ddr steven block there are um, many uh, kind of uh, similar website you will find so DDS Steven suit this is I believe the correct website yeah I'm the correct website I don't need that okay so uh, you can download the whole package directly from this uh, zip folder and you will you be needing and you will get a lot of cool uh, features for DDS Steven suit right um, we will be giving the other links where you can download your malware samples or any kind of uh, code sample or you can get it from your day-to-day -day life as well right okay so we will go back in our remnex console and in our malware analysis folder we have uh, dumped our ddr steven suit so there are a lot of packages already there in this tool we will not be using them all uh, we'll be using a little bit of uh, those tools here we have eight samples and in this practical demo we are going to talk about all those eight samples and these are our script folder these are our inbuilt in-house uh, developed script so which we'll be using in this particular demo okay so let's start first where are we remnix linux okay so we will go in this folder okay cd then paste it okay we are here that's minus l and we will go directly to our sample one sorry sample one okay ls okay one dot docs so we can 
uh, check it out what is inside that so it's a document file mm, might be a binary see it anyway it's yep so this uh, document file it's a huge garbage and we do not have any uh, uh, similar kind of tool to parse that in uh, Linux in Remnex because we do not have that uh, install oops I closed uh, the window okay no worries I'll uh, open up that again okay need to go inside that again we do our ls okay we will go inside cd sample sorry okay. l1 okay we are inside okay so what we will we can try so it's a document file right ms document so we can simply use oled dump to check what is inside that so oled dump will uh, carve our file uh, if anything is uh, attachment is there any kind of other tool is there so we will using our ddr script and we will be taking oledump.py and we will simply use that docs okay so uh, no ole find was found inside that zip container so that is that means we do not have any uh, attachment or any kind of script uh, or any kind of uh, other files inside that docs uh, file but as you can as you already know uh, or if you don't know so docs is a kind of uh, zip format right so multiple word document multiple other uh, file also comes into zipped format inside microsoft doc so what we will do we will simply try to unzip it um, and uh, we will try to dump minus d is for dumping uh, whatever uh, might be inside that so current directory and we want to dump all the package Okay, oh sorry, I'm an idiot. So unzip, not upzip, unzip, yeah. So uh, in flatten, so there are a lot of files uh, has been curved out from that doc, and we will be uh, specifically interested in this word uh, dot xml because it's a word inside that word directory, and there is an xml document. So might be worth of checking so you can uh, check other things like that as well so we will do a less and we will see um, okay first let us go inside that doc um, word right so ls okay now you will see what is inside that doc we will do a ls document xml right so it's looking like a uh, lot of uh, xml kind of format right so anyway it's a html format so looking like https multiple stops okay so never mind so what we can do we have a we have our own um, script right so this uh, append string extract url decode xml so this decode xml we can use to carve out what uh, any other uh, hidden xml inside that right so what we will do so add that file in inside malware analysis so we will do two step sorry step then scripts okay then what is that file name decode.xml decode.xml then our current file document.xml okay awesome so we are seeing this right so what we didn't observe in our uh, previous when we do a less document so this is our potential ioc so now uh, we don't care about any error so we are only care about we will only care about this uh, url right uh, down so we got our ioc and we are done right pretty simple okay so without wasting much of time we will directly jump into our sample too let me do a clear screen 
I hope uh, the window is visible to everyone. Uh, okay, if uh, I want to let me try a uh, zoom out little, zoom in. Okay, how much to do? Okay, I reference probably display. Oops, I am not seeing it. Okay, anyhow. I believe it's uh, visible to everyone, right? So you can do a full screen and you can watch it. So, okay, we will do CD one step. We are in sample one. We will do a CD double slash and we will go to sample two. Cool. Okay, so what we will do, we'll see what is inside. So, okay, amex.pdf. So, uh, this HTML and WP settings.js. So, we can see what is inside that, uh, that file. So, what we will do first, we will try to. So, we are not. Uh, so, this amix.pdf file, uh, I'm not sure if uh, in Rumnex it has anything to show me. Let me try. Uh, Sample to right. Okay, I'm next dot PDF. Yeah, yeah. So uh, from something, dear card member, it's good. Uh, it's showing like a real, real American Express. So this guy uh, to start attach HTML web page fillable format and see attach from download to continue. So this kind of email you get, uh, you might get on your inbox and. The other HTML web page that we have uh, we have identified. So let me load it up. It if, if it loads, let's see. Okay, so it's looking like quite a interesting one. So they have given your pass uh, if this format they have given. So this particular HTML file we have taken from our that email format. So what they are trying actually, they are pushing you to give your information in this file and maybe they can use it in somewhere else. We don't know. Okay, so we will close this up and we will go back to our analysis folder. Okay, here is our script. Okay, here is our console. Okay, so what we will see, we'll let's see what is inside WP settings.js. OMG, it's a huge, it's a huge thing. Ah, it's a huge thing. Okay, so let me try a little bit of beautification. You remember? So we'll queue, we'll quit, and we will try to do a little bit of uh, JS beautify. Um, WP settings okay not much worthy but at least it uh, gave me a little bit information let me go up uh, it is starting yeah it is starting not much but it's a variable huge variable t and every garbage they has stored inside that so we need to find out what is inside that garbage what we can do, we will run that particular script. So let us run it using uh, JS file. You remember writing, uh, running it from without using any browser. So we will be using our friend's DDR Steven suit. It's inside Linux and it is JS file. Next, wp settings dot settings dot js. Okay. Okay, let's see now if something is uh, happened inside. Yeah, cool. So it gave us write dot bin dot log, write dot log, write uc dot log. So these three files it gave me after running JS file. So let us go inside that and let us see what is inside our log file. Let's write write dot bin dot log it might be a binary okay see it anyway oh okay it's uh, nothing I don't need this 
right dot log it yeah so it's another HTML page what is it's doing it's a variable input document dot get element user ID dot focus so when you remember so when you um, when you get that particular email you curb out your first HTML form which is that MX form inside that when a JavaScript will be running that this particular HTML file will be running on um, your maybe your background right so American Express they are uh, looping it in American Express so all looks legitimate so now what we can see we can try out something like uh, maybe script if they are using uh, okay so this is a script uh, where else they are using yeah they are using it here script online american express so again they are routing us to american express page only i believe this is also their page so we'll try to find out so all american express will try to find out where they are actually submitting that form so we'll try out to some form information now you see they are doing something fishy over here so ps imzo dot wp settings dot php this is not looking something cool right this is something fishy so we will simply copy it and we will check in it virus total let's see if we have any hit maybe someone has dumped anything in whoever over here will do come here and scan it yeah so it's malicious right so we got our IOC so we don't care about anything else right so we are done here so we'll quit this one and you got your IOC from your second sample as well so uh, learnings is like when you get your email sample you can download the uh, payload uh, ASAP but safely you do a recon on your file using JS Beautify and you use JS file to see what is actually happening okay so we will jump on now our um, third sample sample 3 ls okay so we have a big JavaScript inside that so let's see what is inside it oops not too enough okay so it is uh, we do not know what is this guy is doing so we are seeing backslash u then again backslash u so could be looking like hex as well so again we are having something like let's see if we find something 158 nothing 158 so mm, ampersand c also they are using could be it's like character encode and has been done okay so we'll try out we'll see if uh, anything anything if stereo suit can give us right so we'll try to use our uh, DDR suit so there is a file called um, decode okay not DDR script decode okay so we we are we will let's try using extract character from this particular uh, for encoding so do not we do not need this okay inside our script what is it name extract care dot pi okay extract care dot pi then we'll use this okay yeah so yeah it was a character encoded so you can just do uh, you can simply run it you can do a js file on it as well you can do a js beautification but js beautification won't keep much information in its character encoded so at least we know something rather than nothing uh, and it is um, parsing some ws script dot shell it is creating an active 
x object it is using an eval so it's quite looking um, uh, kind of url kind of thing right so it's parsing an url it is creating a new active active of x object and it's uh, using that inside uh, uh, the wsl uh, script shell so what we can do now uh, we can uh, try it out and we can um, do a URL uh, we can try to decode this particular URL so um, we have a extract URL as well so we can use that one so let's try it out we will use that and we'll pipe it with um, sorry script then code this no no this one what is that okay extract url not decode extract url dot python hmm you can see something happening right looking now uh looking pretty much um clearer right what we have seen from first garbage right so let me clear that screen and let me use that and use a little bit of beautification this time beautify what happened oh okay okay clear it and never mind so what we will do we will dump it in one dot js ls so one dot json created now we will beautify it a little bit yeah so it is now the uh, beautification on it so it's a uh, uh, character kind of thing so it's storing another character okay so let me tell you so these are basically tuples so it's doing nothing sitting in front of your character and it is using so what is actual the meaning of this uh, character it's mean dollar t plus emp so it's means stem so they are using string uh, separation and storing it inside that particular variable and they are using the tuple to fool us right but we are not so fool mm. and you can see that url right also inside that what we will do now we will try to combine this uh, this uh, little um, format so we can get a concrete format of a combined combination so we'll again use our append string uh, this kind this guy little here and we will parse it out let's see okay js beautify um, now we will parse it what is it append string okay not here inside our script append string cool so it's now appended what we were seeing here in tem and it is now appended so we got our ioc http so we can search it out here again so what this is so it's pushing a shell and might be doing something bad but we uh, do not need to understand what is its full feature rather than we can simply check where we can identify the ioc and we can check it out oops uh, pretty much suspicious right okay so we are down with uh, our third sample as well so let me clear the screen now we will go to our next sample cd sample four let's see what is inside okay so much file inside so what uh, specifically we did so we have received it update form dot html update form dot pdf and we copied it out this js format so let me show you what is actually inside that sample four right PayPal. What is that? Hmm. So this is the form. Maybe we have received an update form. Uh, 
okay nothing is inside okay never mind we'll go back to the pdf only okay so it this page is looking like uh, pretty much identified or identical what paypal might give you so you can receive this form um, as a attachment or as a link in your email and if you do something on this page that guy this guy will trigger right so we need to do a uh, uh, checking on this guy and since this didn't work we will try to do a less on it so let's see so first thing first we'll do a less on our update html and it's a uh, form what is actually it's doing there might be some script let me try yes there is a script inside that so um, if you open a list uh, the way you can search you can simply do a backslash and you can type it out and it will give you um, that format so form is not there but script is there right so it's a big script so what we can do we can extract that script out in a, in a separate file and let me try to do that okay so we have our script which is our in-house extract url manual extract script okay maybe ddr suit might have something so let me try out ddr extract script yes so i remember this file because i have worked on it so many times so this is not our in-house script this is ddr suit script and we will try to update form html it is done ls yes so it has extracted the script what we were seeing inside that html form and dumped it here so what we can say will less it i believe it's the same script yes it is the same script so let me see what is actually it is doing so we don't uh, care about much uh, we will try to find out yes it is creating a document element by name uh, it is has a variable over here so we'll try to uh, check it from uh, back to front so this is here it is creating a document element before that um, it is storing a variable over here it is passing this variable over here okay okay so first let us do a j script on it so if uh, we found something uh, but uh, i am not sure if uh, it will work uh, on it or not but worth trying it right so did your suit linux js file script one dot okay document element is not a function i don't care ls hmm. i didn't give an it haven't provided any outlook so might be we need to uh, get rid of this thing let me open it in gedit this time gedit script Okay, this is another uh, cool utility you can have it in from next and you can install it as well so what i am gonna do okay, document element so i will remove this line because that's the point where uh, it was giving me the error and i will not store it inside rather i will print it out let's see and neither i do not need these two lines so wh what actually i am doing so this is the total overall function right so 
I am just trying to print out what this variable is doing because it's total inside this kind of uh, fashion and whatever uh, the magic it is doing it is storing inside that and this guy this variable again it is storing uh, it is using another function so I am not too much of uh, worried about that but I am worried about this guy so let me save it and let me close this okay let me clear it up now let me run the tdr suit again on it the suit line x js file what is my script script one yeah awesome so this is our ioc right there so that guy was storing our ioc and that guy was doing some magic right so let me check it out i am expecting this file is going to be obviously a bad file let me copy it copy paste it here in our file scripter okay Hmm. So no one have ever submitted that file, and it's a legitimate file. Hmm. Quite interesting. Let me see now. So we have it file anyway. So that was the file we have dumped it from uh, from our uh, update dot html. It was there from previously. Now we will try to uh, forensicate this file. What might be inside that? right okay so we will uh, open it let's see less one five what omg quite a big garbage and i literally don't understand anything inside that let me beautify it a little bit just beautify and one five oops okay at least it gave me something rather than nothing it has a function it has a variable it has again document right and where it is starting okay here it is starting so it's uh, defining the function here it is defining another function here and it's a huge variable inside so this is quite uh, interesting okay what I am going to do, let me save this file uh, inside. So let me clear the screen. Let me do this same and let me store it 1.js. Stored. So now 1.js, it's kind of thing we can at least identify that. Okay, there is uh, something rather than nothing. Okay, so we will open it in gedit in 1.js okay uh, we will be finding something like uh, maybe form what happened okay there is no form okay so my machine is giving me a little bit trouble what happened to me buddy okay it's now back so maybe it was uh, stuck because i am uh, using very less uh, very less amount of uh, ram inside here inside this uh, folder so what uh, i am gonna do um, okay windows on load uh, so it is uh, it will try to do something well when you are loading that particular script in your uh, browser actually in on load it will be doing so let me close it and let me try out something um, let me try uh, the js uh, file to run it inside that okay what happened it's stuck again okay no it's not stuck okay 
okay so come back to your suit line x one dot uh, js file one dot js did it do something yes no it didn't give me any uh, output or any log so that is the reason it uh, because it it will only run when uh, it it has uh, we open it in on load right so what i can do i can get rid of this on load i don't need you and mm, what i can do i can so function this is uh, simply mm, calling out the function i don't need you either I will simply document dot write whatever inside me. So I'll save it. Now let me try it. Now let me clear it up and let me do yeah. Okay. Finger crossed. Let me try. Yeah. So our script ran successfully. Now let's see what is inside r less file so anyway it ran right so less hmm so again um, it's a embedded html file okay so what we can do so again if it is html rather uh, definitely they will be uh, somewhere they were submitting it right form will submit so paypal looks legitimate okay so maybe submit they are doing submit right so somewhere okay on submit is also there click maybe okay uh, button yeah they have a button so they have a form where they are using a button uh, as uh, I showed you previously, right? So in this uh, sample four, uh, let me try it, update form. They have a submit form button. This submit form is a button. They are doing something inside that button, okay? Okay, so what its class it's saying this is the class we can now search this class out what this guy is actually doing copy it and we will paste it okay where are you yes i got it so variable and variable flower iv dot net so this is the same page looks like the same page where from where we have downloaded this guy this js file it's the same page so uh, the js file is submitting this a particular file in flowerivy.com might be virus total doesn't have anything for flower v but definitely it is not a paypal right so we got our ioc and our sample for is also done you got it right so the lesson is you need to extract the form from html new then you search it using either you run it using js file and then you follow the breadcrumbs from there either from script or form or submit button right okay so now we will go to sample 5 cd our sample 5 let's see one js file let's see what is inside okay it is a binary file interesting hmm. okay 
what we will do we will we can um, like um, beautify it uh, I'm not sure if it will work so first let me copy it because we are simply one step so we if we curve out something if it if we lose something uh, we will lose our evidence file so now i'm gonna use js beautify one dot js i'm not sure if it is a js file or whatever but uh, at least it gave me something right so uh, because i have stored it inside that js uh, abbreviation or extension rather say so let me create a file again so two dot js i am using beautification script and i am uh, creating another file okay two dot js now what i am gonna do i am simply gonna run ddr suit uh, js file what happened Okay. Something it uh, does crazy thing. Okay, let me run it like that way. What happened? Have I deleted it? Oops. Then it uh, it would be a big mistake. Let me go back. It is there and what is the problem oh, okay okay it's inside linux right i'm a dumb guy linux js file then 2.js okay reference uh, notified i don't care let me give oh, okay so it means it didn't run we need to now um identify from where it is not coming so line 9 this guy is not defined so let me open that up i'll copy it let me open that file in gedit .js. okay let me find okay so this guy is here hmm. where the error is coming so error came this is not defined so what function they are using uh, okay talk okay if new date something new array then they are defining it right so that means my file has not been uh, defined uh, properly right so what i am gonna do I am gonna delete this if statement. I am gonna delete here, so I don't need if. So I'll simply run it off. Now I store it and I close it. Let me try it again. DDR sort Linux again the error. So, but I don't care if uh, it gave me the okay so my file ran and it gave me the log file now let me see what is inside my log file less eval dot zero one dot log okay new active x object and script dot shell so it's looking like another html template format and for character from code so let me uh, do a little bit of uh, beautify inside that what i'm gonna do uh, before doing that beautification so since uh, it is the url we identified already right so it was looking like uh, uh, that url file so we will try to extract that uh, url uh, out of it so let me try to do it here as well okay go back to this file less and find this way script 
um, so what is our file url extract url dot python extract url dot python okay so it it actually extracted i believe it extracted yes something it extracted right http open let me try it out with a little bit of beautification so i'll store it in 3.js ls 3.js and i'll try to beautify it beautify 3.js okay so this looks like our ioc down here so uh, so what actually it is doing it is loading a powershell script it is downloading a file from here right so we can check it out if it is if virus total have anything or anything to say about it URL and we are going to paste it ah again malicious right so you got your IOC so just remember it uh, you might not be able to identify or resolve your code uh, always so but at least as long as your JS file or you can able you are able to run that file you are okay with it okay so sample 5 done we are going to now sample 6 okay ls 1.js okay let's see what is inside 1.js okay it is looking like a big shot of js file so we don't do any delay we will simply run um, js script ddr linux js file one dot js close is not defined i don't care much okay it gave me the log so what i'll do i'll open it up eval dot zero dot log okay again okay so uh w script shell so active x object kind of similar kind of code right and here you can see base 64 string so definitely this guy is hiding something inside this big base 64 so what we are gonna do we are gonna use the uh, ddr script tool uh, to decode that and extract that for us right so uh, we can do a little bit of beautification maybe but uh, let's see what may be inside it beautification eval dot zero dot log maybe we'll try to do ls okay at least uh, okay the same thing anyway we we know already it's base 64 so we'll try to do a um, base 64 dump this time sorry so it's a ddr script base 64 dump dot python and we will run it in our eval log yes so uh, what it is telling it has a lot of decoded string and as you can see they are defining the size so i will be interested to see this file because it's uh, big in size so what i'll do i'll run the script again and i'll dump this data so this is uh, id 8 right so how we can do we can simply minus s we can do a 8 minus d for dump and we will do uh, this guy eval dot log same thing so simply we are dumping that file okay so it gave me something right and it is looking like a powershell script function pointer get delete point pointer right so your inside base 64 there is a powershell so um, as we specified earlier powershell is not uh, within our scope for this series but you 
get your PowerShell script and you can use your sweet time to decode that and comment please comment us and let us know what is inside that so we'll scrape out and we will go to our next uh, seven uh, sample sorry cd sample seven okay, ls. okay only one js file is there so let us see what is inside Hmm, it's a variable and it is a character encoding, right? So you can identify as long as you can. We were working on different kind of script, different kind of parameter. You will definitely identify what kind of script it is having. So we have a code for extract character dot Python from to extract that uh, character out of from. Uh, this particular script so we will run that okay our script and then um, extract care right okay care dot pi and then doc okay so lot of lot of garbage lot of thing but at least it extracted the character out of it right okay what we will do now um we will simply we will simply copy it um, clear it out and okay we will try to do a copy doc uh, let uh, one dot js because we are going to work on this particular file um so that is the reason we need to do it right so okay so let us run uh, uh, so uh, this particular file again uh, we won't be able to understand much anything because uh, again uh, anyway it's character splitting it is using um, it is dumping something it is uh, storing it inside a variable it's creating simply kind of script multiple mm, it is running multiple function so let us try to run it uh, ra rather going to do it tdr script and linux then our js file then one dot js okay active x object is not defined so we need to get rid of this error so what we are gonna do we are gonna gedit one dot js okay let us try to find out where is active x yes so this is our active x object so this is not defined that means uh, we will need to uh, remove something from this code uh, to have it uh, give us rather than not creating it not parsing it anywhere rather than simply give us the output where it is storing actually right so we don't need a new active x object so we will remove that and so this is a function right so what we are gonna do so we don't need this function to run so we need uh, whatever inside that simply print it out so maybe we can write that way we can debug it right so what we are gonna do we are simply gonna print it print it and uh, there is a might be a little bit catch because this comma so this is a total overall function right so this is the first parameter um, this is the second one and this is 0, 0.0 it's because of the running of the function so we don't uh, need it either right so we can delete it off and we will simply paste it and we will close it and we will again run our uh, DDS script JS file into that yes and again we extracted our IOC from it 
pretty interesting we can check it out in virus total uh, copy it and if you are really interested to uh, do a analysis on that file you can do that as well but reverse engineering is uh, out of the scope of this series so we are not gonna do that but if you are interested you can do that okay so seven uh, sample is also down so we are left with only one samples and this is our final sample from this uh, series so let me clear it and let me directly go to our last sample sample 8 ls only one js file right so we will do a ls uh, sorry less to check it out what is so this kind of thing okay so uh, this file seems like doesn't have much kind of uh, encoding uh, it's creating simple shell file maybe so we can uh, directly run it right so we will use ddr script uh, linux js file and then we will simply run it off okay rubble script not defined but i don't care really okay but it not created hmm. interesting okay so let me find it out where is ws script inside that okay uh, g edit u okay uh, i know here you are okay so this is not defined now what we can do we can do the uh, the we can go the reverse way so w script is defining here that is getting stored in edep so we can check it out what is inside edep so here second edep is there so it is creating a shell object here and it is storing inside this so we will go and check what is there fine second yes so hmm this is something interesting so they are creating and uh, function and they are defining uh, their simple uh, paste over there so they have pasted it directly over here so our uh, mode of uh, interest could be to check what is inside because we can sh see something like they are running powershell script uh, inside that so we can copy it we can close it and we can open a vi editor that is what is uh, inside okay so we are open one dot js okay so and we will paste it over here uh, insert we want to paste it and skip the queue okay we are done okay, so what we will do now we can try ddr script linux Yes, uh, we we simply we are running it. We don't even know if it is a JS or not, but worth uh, trying it, right? Okay. Syntax error, undetermined string lateral. So this doesn't look like a JS file, but um, we can um, simply. Uh, so, but there are like lot of a uh, dollar um some other stops are also there so uh, we can exclude uh, this file right so uh, what we can do now we can create uh, we can open it and we will use the set function now so um, to uh, remove this particular variable outside of it so again if we open the file uh, let me open it in less so there are a lot of like dollar sign dollar slash uh, backslash b 
this tilde sign uh, this then a uh, lot of again abbreviation are there uh, this guy is also there so uh, we can uh, simply remove them off so what we gonna do we can one dot js and we can uh, remove the set minus r and so like s backslash then we can maybe remove another one then backslash n then g done okay so let me i'm hoping it will run okay so now what it did it removed me this expression from uh, particular this file but there is a lot of tilde sign as well right so we need to remove them as well so we will use we will simply tr.d so these are linux uh, fine command so you can search it and you can google it as well so it i am simply replacing that uh, tilde sign and let me see what it happens okay so all tilde that removed and uh, they are specifically doing something so what actually they are trying to do uh, first let me store it inside a file maybe 2.js okay ls so maybe um, less 2.js okay so this guy cmd.c then they are running powershell something called ojogo diamond stop so these are variable they are storing it and they are lastly invoke the expression and they are simply pasting the overall what they have defined in top and they are simply invoking that so this kind of thing is quite annoying right so as we told in the very beginning of the series they might uh, define something inside an object and they can simply uh, append that and they can use that one right so what we can do uh, let us uh, open it in vi editor uh, two dot js insert so also take it down so we will use now our uh, there is a in in-house command that uh, script we have written so what actually it will do it would substitute uh, all those bloody uh, variables inside uh, whatever inside that and it will give us uh, this format right so that we need so we will do that now so we'll clear it up and we will run it so so basically what actually we are trying to do so we will simply uh, substitute this whatever value they are storing it here and it will give us the same uh, output so uh, script is its name substitute substitute dot python two dot js okay so it has substituted all of the variable information here and now we need to do we need to remove these plus symbols and you need to concatenate all the variables over here so we will simply uh, again use that script and we will use our another script what we call append string that we have used uh, in previous samples as well mm. uh, sorry script append string okay so it gives me the overall output set execution policy bypass scope and set string define or something environment object download file http roadmas dot exe so um, we got our file and we got our ioc as well let me copy it and let me check it out Okay, maybe I uh, forgot to remove that file. Uh, okay, anyway, 
it is uh, specious right so um so uh, our sample 8 is also done so what we uh, understood from here it's like uh, we can efficiently analyze our malicious script and we don't need to worry if we do not understand the all of the details so we need to focus on our key function and we need to identify our ioc and we need to extract them wherever we can and we can use that for our further analysis right we hope this has been informative to you and now you can start decoding the javascript and find out the iocs if you like the content please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post our new topics. Thanks for watching.